Hi, my name is Alvin Drew, and I'm an astronaut mission specialist with NASA. Shortly after the Air and Space Museum in downtown DC um, first opened up, it was a beautiful spring day. The high school I went to was built before the Civil War and didn't have air conditioning, so they had the windows all flung open and my classroom was on the first floor. I had an older teacher who wasn't always aware of everything going around him, and every time he turned to the face the blackboard, one or two of us would pitch out of the window um, and, and go play hooky for that afternoon. It was a beautiful late spring afternoon. So having rolled out of the window, my friend's like, wow, we got out okay. Well, what do we do now? And we said, let's go to the Air and Space Museum. So we went down the Air and Space Museum and wandered around down there with our mouths hanging down. So uh, uh, it had a backfire effect. We actually learned something that day in spite of ourselves. My very first job was out cutting grass so I could earn money to go skiing in the wintertime. Uh, eventually I got a day job which was uh, being a fry cook over at the National Zoo in Washington DC and then from, from there I went on to uh, be a cadet where they actually pay you salary instead of charging you tuition. If you have the best idea in the world, if you're Newton, if you've figured out how gravity works, if you're Einstein, you've figured out how relativity works, but you can't get that idea out of your head because you can't articulate it, well that idea goes to the grave with you and nobody benefits from it. So it's very important not just to be brilliant in whatever your technical part is, but you have to communicate that to other people so they can run with it. So have I ever experienced failure? Uh, yes, failure is a routine experience if you're doing the things that I'm trying to go do. Um, I remember the first time I applied to go to test pilot school, I, I remember getting my rejection letter. Um, I remember when the first time I applied into the astronaut corps, I uh, also got a rejection letter because they said I was medically unqualified. Uh, went back and just figured, okay, what went wrong? NASA and the Air Force had different criteria um, and it was a miscommunication, but, but I'd already missed my window of opportunity. said, well, make sure they understand that and try again. So for me, uh, failure is simply an opportunity to learn how to go do it better the very next time out. So if you're a middle school student, uh, this, is, this is about the time to figure out what things get you excited. Uh, when I was 10, 12 years old, space flight was, got me excited. I was excited about flying, and that, that drove what things I paid attention to in school. I knew that I needed to understand math. I had to understand science. Uh, oftentimes, if you wait until you're 16 or 17, and you decide you want to go down some, something technical, it may be too late for you without a lot of hard work to catch up. So now's the time to figure out where your passions might be um, and to pay attention to those.